OK, so the COVID-19 pandemic is over, according to those in charge of declaring such things. Last week, the United States public health emergency just expired. And while life has felt pretty normal for most of us for a while now, there's a small contingent of Idahoans for whom the pandemic may never end. Well, at least what it did to their bodies. Ongoing symptoms months or even years after infection have changed lives forever. And they call it long COVID. And the St. Luke's COVID Recovery Clinic specializes in treating people inflicted with it. For some, it's been a literal lifesaver. Here's Andrew Barline. Life changes fast. That's a given behind these doors into the St. Luke's COVID Recovery Clinic. I mean, it's almost like, I would say akin to almost like a cancer diagnosis. Life changing. It's a gorgeous day. Judy Cross has lived with the changes for three years now. I was having a lot of difficulty breathing, I was coughing. One. I had brain fog. Two. Interstitial lung disease, fibrosis. Three. Um, it's, it's a death sentence after three to five years. That was scary to me, that that was happening. It's happening to a lot more people too, under the guise of a myriad of symptoms. Looks like for some of the subset of patients, it might be permanent for them. We have patients that are moving towards disability. And it's very serious, um, unfortunate side effect of the COVID-19 infection. Dr. Jody Donovan is the Long COVID Recovery Clinic site director. At the end of 2020, when we noticed that there were patients that had additional COVID symptoms, they, that were then coined Long COVID. From that, that I, I basically looked for additional models, which of course at that point in time were pretty slim to none. And, and that's how I created the COVID Recovery Clinic. So does it almost feel, in a sense, building the, the plane while you're flying it? Yes, exactly, and hoping it doesn't crash. <laughs> because the changes these patients are dealing with. And it causes a lot of uh, inflammatory issues. It can be described as a crash itself. Neuropsychologist identified with some left brain damage, uh, so it was affecting memory and speech and, and such. You got brain damage from COVID. Mm -hmm. COVID can affect any system in the body. And Judy? Or every system in the body. She would know. I worked as a nurse at St. Luke's for 40 years and took care of everybody else. But Judy. This is a whole big change of. She's now retired. A whole big change of my life. I felt so guilty that I couldn't go in and help. <laughs> Another change. It was her turn to get help. Uh, liquid oxygen tanks. One. Never thought I'd be doing things like Adderall. <laughs> Two. But it's making a difference. Three. Because I'm part of the COVID recovery clinic, I'm able to see a doctor more frequently. Pulmonary fibrosis. It was supposed to be a death sentence, remember? But I'm not hitting that. That changed too. You are recovering. So I'm recovering. <laughs> that clinic, um, being able to go to the cardiopulmonary rehab saved my life. And her sense of humor. Ruth. They also saved that. Ruth, my tank is Ruth. Remember in the Bible when uh, Ruth committed to Naomi and said, with it thou goest, I will go? <laughs> well, she goes with me. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Donovan says the clinic is noticing common denominators, often people ages 35 to 50, mostly women who've had a serious illness from their initial infection and anything lasting longer than four weeks really begins to start to qualify as long COVID. And there's a long list of things that we're starting to learn about this. You go on the CDC's website, Brian, there's many things listed out, what they're seeing, mm -hmm. who are the types of people that are prone to this. But even when we talked with Dr. Donovan, she says, sometimes I have 20 year olds who don't want to get out of bed. They've had this for months and they're not living normal lives that 20 year old would do going out with friends. So it's not just happening to older people. It seems that anyone who gets COVID, it's a possibility it could happen to them. Are there a is there a core of common denominators with this group of people? There, there is, and I think it's not exactly hammered out, but they're starting to notice them. There's a lot we talked about with uh, Dr. Donovan, and we'll have that list out on our website at ktbb.com because I need to go back through there and hammer them out myself. There's a lot of information that they're starting to learn. I can't imagine having a lighthearted look at something like this like Judy does after literally getting a death sentence just years ago. She's so. doing good, though. She's doing good. Good for her. Amazing. Thanks, Andrew.